How are we doing everybody? Welcome to BJJWeekly.com. This is Pete Roberts here with a new issue of Rolling Reflections. And this week we have Holes Gracie, a former UFC fighter, a third degree black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Uh, he's a big dude. Uh, he's the same exact weight as I am. And uh, we're going to get in on a, a no-gi uh, Rolling Reflections for you guys. So immediately Holes jumps uh, into kind of the half guard and I'm looking for a, a deep underhook and uh, I'm trying to scoop his leg on the far side but uh, I could feel his base uh, right off and immediately I knew uh, I'm going to have to abandon ship or uh, he's going to stick my knee to my nose. So uh, he uh, flattens me out pretty good here and he's got super heavy hips. Uh, swings around looking for the knee bar uh, and he plays with my foot that I have locked so I'll move it and he scoops the other one and uh, he gets it nice and easy right there so uh, we restart again going back for that half guard hole sits back for this really nice uh, passing position here and uh, scoops my leg and the reason he's controlling my leg is so that I can't roll to my belly and and get a uh, single on him so he's driving with that inside kind of that uh, cross knee pass uh, but moves to a different passing game and gets right around my guard and he's playing nice and light, nice and easy. We're going uh, super slow, nothing too hard, just uh, trying to get it so Holes can show you guys his game. He's got a really awesome no-gi game along with a good gi game. So he gets on my pack right here and uh, he's looking for an arm triangle. Isolates the arm, drives his inside knee through trying to get to side control and you see him just uh, put a lot of pressure there for a nice arm triangle is super tight so holes is in his combat base here and I'm kind of just looking for the arm drag and just really getting him to respond so you guys can really see his game he likes to sit back uh, grab a couple ankles there and Holes has got my leg locked um, right here. He wasn't letting me come up, wasn't letting me get in, uh, into a good position. So he uh, he gets uh, gets me back here with a really nice uh, little sweep, looking to scoop my leg. So I just drop it down. Uh, but we're just we're just playing a little bit here, nothing too intense, just feeling each other out. He keeps his instep on the inside of my leg so that uh, I don't lock up the half guard uh, and then he chooses to uh, go into like a reverse Keza here and, uh, he really likes this position, it's a good position for him because he's got really heavy hips so it's really hard to move him and uh, keeps that nice cross base position there and I'm trying to scoop his leg on the other side again but he wasn't having it sticks his instep in my thigh, a really good way to get more leverage to suck that knee out and goes right into the mounted position. You can see he stays super heavy on me. He's not not rising up, he's he's really staying heavy on me. So uh, I come up with a combat base here uh, looking to drop a shin down on his leg and uh, he knew what was coming so he's just defending it uh, trying to scoop my elbow to stretch me out a little bit. Maybe he can get an omoplata or something. And I felt that a little bit, so I'm just trying to defend. We're just having a really good time. I don't know what that was. A little cartwheel pass that <laughs> that didn't work out very good. Puts me in a bad position here. He could have easily had a, a heel hook, but uh, he looked at it. He's like, "Oh, I'm gonna be nice, be nice to Pete." So he uh, he's just holding on to it, and I think he's just looking to see what I'm gonna do for some defense and. Uh, I didn't really do anything, and he, uh, he he submitted me again. So we got to spend the whole day with Holes. He's an awesome, awesome guy. Really nice guy. Really incredible technique, and really understands the game. Looking for a little X guard here uh, to see uh, just how he defends, and he uh, sets his base down. You can see he's not stretched out. He's pretty flexible, so. He's just controlling my hand, making sh making sure he doesn't get in an uncomfortable position. And uh, then he just decides when he wants to escape. 
And again, right back into a, a half guard seated position here. And he uh, shoves my knee through here. Uh, and ends up kind of back in the guard. So now he's looking for a little, like a smash pass. And I'm just trying to stay loose with him. And uh, he comes down into a, a north-south position. Settles right in. Again, Holes has really, really heavy hips, guys. His lower body is phenomenally strong. And uh, his transitions are for a big guy. Uh, you just don't find that very often. Um, he transitioned to my back so quick and had the rear naked choke sunk in, that kind of modified rear naked choke sunk in before he even had both his hooks in. It was already under my neck. Uh, and it just came on so quick. Just the, the whole transition, taking the back, everything. So here we go. He's looking for that smash again. He likes going under the leg. Uh, he likes that uh, smash pass uh, quite a bit. Back into that uh, reverse case of position here, which he really likes. Looking for an arm here, the Kimura. And uh, this is a good position for him as he gets out of the side, the uh, half guard, right into this nice Kimura position. So the thing I saw with holes is his submissions all vary. He's working the legs, he's working the arms, he's working the neck. He doesn't just stick to one thing. He's really going to take what I give him from my mistakes. So when I make a mistake, he just capitalizes on it. He doesn't think about it. He's just so versed in, in, in jiu-jitsu and, and sambo and wrestling. and uh, he, he's, just, he's just really good. Uh, and uh, he really mixes a lot of different games in with his Brazilian jiu-jitsu game. And that's what makes him such a good MMA fighter along with a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu practitioner. He establishes a nice uh, half guard again and I'm looking to escape, get my knees back in and he's pushing that knee through, fighting that knee, fighting that knee and he just drives his shin over the top to keep me from getting my arm inside. You can see him drive my arm through as he sits through for this uh, guillotine here and uh, locks it up and it was super tight and he shows that technique um, during one of his Expert of the Month weeks, so you got to make sure you check that out. It's a really nice guillotine setup. Again, I'm looking for a, uh, just to try to get him off balance a little bit, and he comes around again, looking to uh, get right back into that side control position, and I uh, get it, get his hooks in. I look to shed, shed the hooks off, trying to flatten his leg out, and, uh, get my hips free and he rides it right up into uh, almost a mounted position and then climbs right up like climbing a tree you got to stay tight with your hips when you're climbing in a mount like that and he certainly does his upper body doesn't come up he stays low and tight he, he uh, has fluid hooks uh, and uh, he just stays nice and tight on me always with pressure always with pressure so here you go he's uh, he's got a head and arm again and Looking for another submission, steps over, and he finishes it. Awesome time rolling with uh, Holes Gracie. Uh, he's a really incredible jiu-jitsu practitioner, guys. Check him out in Homdell, New Jersey. Uh, we'll see you next week on BJJWeekly.com.